We're here in Grand County, Colorado, near Winter Park. We're doing some really important maintenance on one of our siphons. Siphons are a really interesting part of our collection system. We're able to move water across a valley with just using gravity and no pumping required. And this one is our Jim Creek siphon because it moves water across the Jim Creek Valley. This siphon was constructed in 1935 and this is its first major rehabilitation that Denver Water has done on this pipeline. We're planning to replace the lining as well as do concrete repairs on its supports and replace its expansion joints as well. Steel pipelines always have a lining inside them to protect them from corrosion and this pipeline's lining, much of it has worn away and so it's ready to be replaced so that we can keep it in service. So what's happening right now is men are in the pipe sandblasting, uh, preparing the, the substrate for coating. They began here today, they have 1,800 feet to go to complete the whole siphon. Tough, challenging work, working on slope inside a pipe uh, with all the noise and dirt and debris that they're blasting off. Not an easy job. Another aspect of the project is to replace the expansion joints on the pipeline. They've seen corrosion and they need to be removed and replaced with new ones. So with these expansion joints, our process to replace them is we come in, we use a torch to cut out either side of this fitting, this EJ. And then we rig it up to an excavator. We pull it out. We come back in with the new expansion joint, place it in that gap, and weld the whole thing out. Give me a little tension. Up. The purpose of these expansion joints is as the sun and the temperature of the water inside the pipe are on the steel, that steel actually grows and contracts as much as an inch and a half within the course of a day. And these expansion joints, they take that expansion and contraction. In the concept of maintenance, this is what allows the pipe to last for 80 plus years. A lot of foresight and planning went into the original construction and design of these pipes in the 1930s, and it's our job now to continue to maintain them into the future.